Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and it's Wednesday afternoon. It is time to do some polling for Valentine's Day Ildira. Uh, I'm going to start, though, by jumping into the shop and buying the 300 paid Vizior 10 pull ticket. I think this is, this is the obvious place to start, in my opinion. Pick this up. You get some other stuff as well, but really, it's all about 300 viz for a 10 pole. That is phenomenal. And then we're going to jump into the banners and just start pulling. Hopefully, this is a very, very short pull video, but let's hit this 10 ticket real quick. And then, if we don't get her here, I'll kind of explain how I'm going to do, how I'm going to go about chasing her on the other banners. I do think you have an interesting couple of choices here, but in my opinion, one of them is significantly better than the other. Okay, here we go. We did get um, a sea of blue crystals with a glimmer of hope at the bottom. I would describe the look of this pole as if you were like way underwater kind of drowning and you look up and at the very top, you see this glimmer of sunlight, like this little crystal right here. And you really hope that as you reach for that crystal, as you reach for that sunlight, it turns into a beautiful rainbow no, you drowned. That's too bad. But that's, I mean, it happens to the best of us. You just got to stay out of deep water with weights on your ankles. It's not a good idea. Um, okay, so the, the interesting part here is this. By doing this, it does take you to 20% out of 100. I could see the justification people would have here of finishing this out once and taking one crack at the 25% um, shot when you fill up this pity box. If you don't pull her, this will fill up after five pulls and you have a 25% chance of pulling her on the next one. Personally though, I think it's just a way better deal to just guarantee yourself shards for her. So I'm going to be doing the step up, but I'm also definitely doing the 80 Mind Sphere banner. Um, this is two duplicates worth of Ildira Mind Spheres for 2,000 Viz, and you have a chance of pulling her here as well. Now, I don't think we have a very good chance of pulling her when the uh, Mind Spheres are in slot 10. We did get a change there, but not to a rainbow. Yeah, it's looking... This one's looking bad. Um, you don't get tokens for this, I believe. I think you just get the Mind Spheres. You don't get any pity tokens. Uh, yeah, just here's my Mind Spheres. Worth already. Easy worth. And then let's see here. Yep, get those. Great. Yeah, no tokens. No big deal. So, here we go. Now, <clears throat> now it's time. The real, the real fun begins. I do have quite a bit of free Vizior, so the hope would be I wouldn't have to dip into paid Vizior at all to finish it off. This is a pretty promising start too. We get a uh, we get a gold crystal in slot ten. There are vision cards on this banner, so I'd never want to see a vision card in slot 10. That is the uh, that is the thing to avoid, in my opinion, is the slot 10 VC. Let's get a change. No, Bina. Okay, 0 for 1, 0 for 2, 0 for 3. That was technically our third poll, but we are two poles towards pity. So that's something to keep an eye on. We would have to run this whole banner four times. Uh, to get pity and even if and I know that I could stop by the way on the uh, on the last poll because since we did the one the the single tin poll on her uh, regular banner that is technically um, enough pity tokens that if we got all the way to the fifth step of our fourth run of the step up we would have enough to pity but that fifth step gosh dang it that one changes of course it does that fifth step does guarantee you 40 shards, so I'd probably just pull it anyway, and then hope to get uh, hope to get lucky. Because the ultimate dream would be to get a bunch of shards here, and then be able to trade my pity coins for more shards. Okay, this is the guaranteed shard pull. Uh, I don't know. I w I'm really curious to learn if these crystals can turn to rainbow when you have a guaranteed shard in slot 10. I feel like they can't, or at least I feel like I've never seen it happen before. Um, there's our there's our shards. And after what? We've done what, five pulls now? No rainbows. Zero rainbow units. Over oh, our first five. It can only get better. It can only, okay, it got better. It just got better. Now, did it get a lot better? I don't know. That Chocobo was looking pretty happy. But this is a... This pole is just full of vision cards. Like, chock freaking full of VCs. Uh, we might get a change here. Nope. Okay. Alright. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, man. My luck the last two weeks has been really, really good. 
really, really good. That is back-to-back -back units on, like, what? Just a handful of pulls? Like, I'm gaining Vizior over the last two weeks, which is a little bit crazy. That is awesome. My first rainbow that I pull is the new girl. Now, wait a second. Do I want to do the next pull? Oh, wait. They're going to offer me a... Uh, I probably get this. Honestly, I probably buy that. But I'll, I'll, I'll revisit that in a second. It'll stay up for a few hours. I want to go look. Am I actually... Am I on step five? What step am I on? I'm on step five. I'm going to do step five. Uh, this is 40 more shards guaranteed at minimum. And I might pull another duplicate. Uh, yeah, watch this. This is about to be a double Valentine's Day Ildira pull. Right here. Boom. We're going to do one whole lap. This is, I don't know that this is necessarily the smartest thing to do, but it is the most fun thing to do. And at the end of the day, I mean, that's what we're all about. All right. And happy Valentine's Day, Ildira. Howlet. That's fine. I actually don't have Howlet done. He's one of the oldest units in this game that I do not have built out. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll finish my boy Howlet. But anyway, that was a super, super successful polling session, a super short video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope your luck was as good as mine. I'll catch you next time. Peace.